What's up you guys? Welcome back to day seven of Ashtoberfest. I can't believe it's already been one week of this craziness. So many videos. I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of them. Today's look is Cheryl Blossom from Riverdale. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait for the second season to start. This look is actually really, really simple and easy. Not a lot of products were used to create this look. It's pretty much all about the wig and outfit for this one. Also, thank you to my best friend Shelby for helping me film this cinematic little intro clip. You guys know when my intros look like this that Shelby definitely had something to do with it. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. That way you'll be notified when every Ashtoberfest video goes up. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I tend to post all these looks there as well, and let's get into the video. Starting off with foundation, I'm using my Fenty foundation in the shade 150. This foundation is the closest match to my skin tone right now, so I went in with that one. And I'm just blending that out with my damp beauty blender. For concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. And as always, just putting that underneath my eyes, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. So I'm just taking my damp beauty blender and blending that into my foundation. So the Fenty foundation says that you don't need to set it with a powder, but because I put concealer on, I'm gonna be going over those areas with my translucent powder. To contour, I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, and I'm using the lightest dark shade in the palette. Cheryl doesn't seem to have too much makeup going on in her looks, so I'm just going in with a really light hand. Even though my forehead's gonna be covered up with a wig, I can't help but contour my forehead a little bit. And then I'm gonna contour my nose using that same eyeshadow brush from the Subculture palette. For blush, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Seduce. And I'm just lightly sweeping that over my cheeks. For brows, I'm gonna be going in with a NYX brow pencil. This one is in the shade Auburn. And to avoid doing a brow cover, I just left my brow shape the same and I'm just filling in with this pencil. Once I had my brows pretty much filled in, I'm gonna go in with a brow powder by Anastasia and I'm using the shade Auburn. To add a little bit of dimension to my eyes, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette that I used on my cheeks, and I'm using that same shade on my eyes. So I'm just blending that out and then taking it along the lower lash line as well. For liner, I'm using the Japanese Kumadori Liner, and I'm just putting a little bit of a line down so it will cover up my lash band when I apply my falsies. Before applying those, I'm gonna add some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And this mascara is so dried up and nasty. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Definitely time to throw that out and use something else. I feel like Cheryl's look is heavy mascara, so be sure to go in pretty hard with that mascara if you plan on doing this look. For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Bold Lashes in the style It's Go Time. And I put those on a little bit too quick there because you can still see the glue drying, but I'm highlighting my cheekbones. I'm just using some of the Kat Von D Thunderstruck eyeshadow for a tiny bit of a highlight. I know Cheryl wasn't like popping with her highlighters, so I'm just adding a little something for my look. For lips, I'm gonna be mixing two shades and those are the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks in Seraphine and Strawberry. So I first used Seraphine, which is one of my favorite red liquid lipsticks, and I was just gonna line my lips with this color, but I decided to just go all in with it, and then I popped a little bit of strawberry over top of it. Not super necessary, I just felt like it gave it a little bit of a lighter red shade, which is what I was going for. To complete this costume, I just need to add my wig, and this one is from Eva Hair. I'll link the style down below in case you guys are interested. This is a lace front wig, so I cut that up before and didn't film that. To make this blend in with my natural hair, I'm taking some of that auburn eyeshadow and I'm just putting that kind of at the edges of the wig where my hair is still showing through. And this will make it look a little bit more realistic on my head. I'm also taking a tiny bit of concealer and putting that in the new part that I created. This wig was originally parted down the middle, but Cheryl has a side part. So I added some concealer and then went back in with that auburn eyeshadow to fix that up. 
And that's pretty much it for this look. It's a super quick, easy, and simple Halloween costume if you ask me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you didn't already. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!